All right, guys, so I was supposed to have a live tonight and I was actually gonna make uh, possibly a shipping video with my stuff today and put it up tomorrow, but I just got a note from Laura Von V. She is not well, she's not feeling well. Um, and so we're gonna probably postpone our lives. So if you're seeing this on Wednesday, the live has been postponed. If you're seeing this on Thursday, then she messaged me last minute and said she could still do it. So, um, but I would rather her take care of herself. We can chat at any point. I think this is just, uh, yeah, it's just a, it's a weird time, which means it's going to bring out a lot of, you know, emotions and also just, you know, like not feeling 100% yourself. So anyways, but I am going to do my shipping. I need to go to the post office today. I just went outside. So typically I'll take an empty bin um, and I'll go out to my shed and I will grab, I, I will write down all the items. I'll go over my inventory and all that stuff in a different video. It's 36 degrees outside and snow is melting, so I don't feel like being outside <laughs> more than I have to be right now, but on a nicer day, I'll definitely film that video for you guys. Um, anyway, so most of the stuff was out my shed. A couple of these top items were actually upstairs in bins that needed to be inventoried, if that makes sense. And um, so I have little numbers on my items that were in bins. And so I just grabbed those. I have a few items from upstairs. All of these are clothing items. Uh, so there's really not gonna be any, any unusual shipping today, but if you're curious as to what I do, I thought I would do this video. I will speed through parts that I'm not talking, but if I'm talking, I'll obviously talk to you. <laughs> so anyways, if you aren't subscribed and you are a reseller, wanna be a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, et cetera, or you just like watching reseller content, um, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below. And if you like the, the shipping video, in case you've been curious how I do shipping, um, yeah, hit the thumbs up. It means a lot to me right now. It means a lot to, I think, a lot of YouTubers right now. So, and thanks for hanging out with me. It always means a lot. So I am, I just grabbed my stuff. I also just grabbed some stuff out of my office. So one of my, yeah, okay. So I have my eBay stuff. I picked up out of my closet, some USPS supplies. And then I've got a couple of the poly bags for the stuff that I haven't actually already bagged up. I have my thank you stickers right here, which is what I put on each item. And I have my scale right here. And so what I'll do for the eBay stuff is I'll weigh it. I stopped working out here, like keeping all my work out here. Like I print my labels and keep my printer out in there. So I clear off this table every day, but um, it's, it's still a bigger workspace for me. So it's still just easier to lint roll, fold things up, organize things. So I have my um, scale for my eBay stuff. And what I'll do, and I'll show you in a second, is I'll, I'll weigh it and then I'll write on the bag. And that way when I go into um, the room where my computer and my printer is, then I just have everything right there handy, done. So anyways, all right, let's get going. Um, I have 13 items today. This is not a wet sold video, so I'm not going to be taking anything out of the plastic. Um, I, yeah, but if you're curious as to my sales that are not in my weekend sale videos, um, you can go to my Poshmark closet. You can see photos. You can see how I write titles. Keep in mind, some of the stuff selling has been sitting for a year. So maybe the photos aren't that great. Maybe I changed something about my title or wouldn't write it the same way. So you know, I mean, it's inspiration. I think just figuring out what works for you, but I know some people like to see the pop-ups of items. Um, I've learned that's the, I don't, I don't do the videos if they require that. So <laughs> I'd rather just do the videos. And, um, if you want to see more details of these listings, you can go check out my closet or my eBay store. Okay. So, and if you didn't know, you can, you can find someone sold. Most people, unless they do things a little bit different, you can see their solds. Um, all right. So I am, I have this item, this item. These have only been listed for less than a week. And then everything else is in plastic bags. This is a bag. I keep all of my handbags in a few different bins and they're just kind of stacked neatly and the bins are closed. So I don't package prepackage these. So, and it depends on the size, but like that one probably won't fit in a bag, which is totally fine. And Let's get everything out. So typically what I do is, 
I first deal with the ones in the plastic packaging. This is gonna be in the way, but that's okay. We're doing a different angle, cause you know, why not? All right, so I typically, on all the stuff that was in bins, they have their little inventory sticker here. Um, I learned pretty quickly that if I put the inventory sticker here, which I will link, I will make sure these little stickers are linked below. They're the cheapest I can find. I like the size. I can use a regular um, ink pen and um, they're just very easy to cover with a basic thank you sticker. So when I put it in the middle of the bag, um, I can just put the thank you sticker right on top of it and it's very easy to cover. Um, and it's not a big deal if someone sees uh, an, an inventory number, like if you put it in a different location, I just found this works best for me. So that's what I do. Um, okay, and as far as I know, I've gotten questions. I am still pre-bagging. I haven't, well, A, I mean, I'm looking at snow and it's muddy and, and it's been raining here a lot. So if it's a rainy season, you know, people leaving packages outside, um, you know, some plastic protection, some people say this is enough, which I would agree. However, I just haven't figured out a solution that works best for me in the long run for both storing, keeping things tidy, protected while they're in storage, protected while they're shipping. Um, lots of different people do different things. I would love to eliminate this plastic and I do have some brown bags that I use occasionally um, when I know there's gonna be at least some plastic on the outside, but that system didn't work with the inventory. So I'm still just trying to figure things out. So bear with me, I will share when I figure out my life, but for now, I'm still doing plastic and yeah. All right, so typically I will kind of separate what I know is Poshmark and eBay. With 13 items, I kind of, I remember which, which is which. So these are eBay, these are Poshmark, so I just kind of make different piles. This is a bundle of Poshmark. So this and the handbag are actually together. So that's probably gonna go in a box, which I will need to grab. So those two. Okay, so I just put thank you stickers on all the ones in plastic. I don't wanna show you, I don't want this to be too long of a video. So I'm going to package up my two other items by lint rolling and putting them in plastic and then I'll be right back. Okay, I don't feel like I have a good setup to show you everything that's going on. So, you know, we're gonna work with what we have, but I have, uh, I just grabbed a box right here for a bundle that's going out on Poshmark. One of the items is already put in its plastic, pair of jeans, so that's gonna go in there. Then I have this odd shaped bag. So I'm actually going, I just grabbed some tissue paper. I'm not a huge tissue paper person. When I ship out, if I can't put it in a bag, I do try to, um, wrap it in tissue. So that's just more or less just to show like I did try, <laughs> if that makes sense. But uh, yeah, definitely not someone who enjoys like gift wrapping or stuff like that. So I know there are a lot of people that just enjoy that process. It makes them happy and they know it will probably make someone else happy. Um, I've never been that person. So I would just rather get them their item, try and show that I tried to make it presentable and, you know, get it to them quickly. So that's just really, but if you enjoy wrapping stuff, I don't think there's any problem with it. But typically when I wrap in tissue, I will just put a thank you sticker to kind of keep it closed. And this isn't like a fragile item or anything. So it's probably gonna have to be a little awkward. So I used a little bit of a bigger, bigger box so it wouldn't, I wouldn't have to fold it too much. So yeah, and I'll probably throw a little bit more tissue on top just to kind of keep it there. All right, and I only have one bundle today and one item that's in a box. So I'm gonna automatically remember what this is. So I'm actually gonna tape it up before I, usually if I have multiple boxes, I'll leave it open and kind of got the labels ready. Whoops, so that I know which is which. As far as taping, um, I'm not a big taper. <laughs> Just, yeah, I think part cost and part laziness. Um, but I've never had any items, like any issues. I do one extra little thing of tape on one side and then I do, one on the other side so that worst case scenario something happens to this strip it's still got a little bit of 
um, security on the, each side. And then this has room for the label and that's it. This is a bundle of two items for Flushmark. Um, yeah, so that is that. I have a Lululemon. Oh, I should have told you. So the bundle of two items was a bundle of Levi's Demi Curve um, boot cut jeans and then a hobo bag. That bundle sold for $50. Um, it was, uh, it was, it was less than an offer I would typically take, but I think a lot of people are accepting a little, you know, a little bit lower offers than normal. So I kind of sat on the offer for a day and I finally just accepted. And, um, the bag I think is worth 50 on its own, but both the bag and the, 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 the jeans have been sitting for probably at least a few months. So, um, also if you want to see photos, I'm not going to insert anything in. This is a casual video. This is not a what sold video, but since I'm showing since I'm doing this stuff, I may as well tell you what's what's actually going out the door. This is a Lululemon. I think it's a um, it's like a wrap jacket, sweater jacket. This sold very quickly in a week for forty one dollars. I sent on an offer, and I'm gonna put this in my little bin, which is right here, and then I'm gonna kind of line everything up so I can easily see what's in each one. This is a Lucky Brand men's sweater. It kind of has an orange and blue stripe down the sleeve. And it's only sold for $15. Again, all these are Poshmark. That's ready. This pair of Gap high-waisted jeans with a yellow kind of tuxedo stripe. Um, the Lucky Brand sweater probably took about four to five months to sell. This pair of jeans probably took about, yeah, four or five months to sell. So, and the jeans sold for $24 and they bought them full price. No, I sent on an offer on those. Okay. Um, I did use to use the padded flat rate for almost all of my, whoops, low power warning for almost all my Poshmark packages, but I do not think it's necessary. So I only use these if it's eBay and I want the cheaper shipping, which is a flat rate shipping, or if there's uh, maybe something that could use a little bit of padding. But for the most part, these are the ones I use for pretty much all of my uh, Poshmark packages, unless it's bigger, in which case I use a box. So this is a swimsuit. I think it's like a boutique brand, like an Amazon brand or something. I shouldn't have picked it up, but it was new with tags and I like the style. This one sold for $12. It didn't take that long to sell, maybe a month or two, but... And then this, I, this I had so many offers. It was a flare uh, free people pair of gray distressed jeans. Um, I've, I've had offers. I actually had someone purchase it twice, but then their payment failed um, each time. It was months apart. So I've had these for probably nine to 10 months. And man, people liked them. And they kept going, you know what it was? They kept asking for the flare measurement and I just, I kept forgetting to go at it. And yeah, I had measurements of, I, don't, I think I had a couple measurements, but they wanted more and I just kept forgetting. So anyways, this pair of jeans sold for $45, full price um, overnight and yeah. All right, on to eBay. So I'm gonna go put these back in my closet where I keep my priority. Um, so these are the eBay poly mailers that I use. I have a store subscription and so I use my $50 every quarter to order some. If you're new to eBay, you don't need to use eBay branded stuff, but these were free or not free. I mean, it's part of my subscription, but store subscription. But um, this, I can't remember the size. It's, I, I used to have a slightly bigger size and then I went down because I could get more, more bang for my buck. Um, uh, there are some times where these are a little snug, but I do have some bigger poly mailers that are non eBay for emergency use, like for something bigger. But for example, this is gonna be a really snug fit the way this is folded. So anyways, this item is a skirt. I got this, uh, I want to say a few months ago, about maybe two to three months ago. And it's a Revolve brand called Elliot and it sold for $35. I sent out an offer on eBay. So like you can kind of see, I'm kind of having to fold it a little bit just to get it in. I'm not going to re-bag it. Um, my clear bags are a little bigger than these eBay bags, but it'll work out. So... I mean, it's, it's a little bit, you can tell it's like, it just needs like an inch more on each side, but so I will leave that. Actually, this is what I was going to show you. 
so because that room is fairly small and I just kind of want to get things in and out, I will weigh it. I do not seal it. Um, and the weight of the label is approximately 0.1 ounce or something like that. So this is weighs uh, 7.5 ounces. And so I'm going to round up to eight. That will leave room for the label and um, be a okay. So I'm just going to write eight ounce on here. And then the label is actually going to cover that up. So that's what I do. All right. So another eBay. Woo. This is a Lucky Brand shirt blouse that I just picked up recently and it only took, it took about a week to sell and it sold, I sent out an offer for this as well. It sold for $16 and all, all my eBay has shipping that they pay for. So, um, all right, so this one weighs 4.9 ounces. And so with the label, once I take off this little, this little thing and add the label, it will be right at that five ounce mark. Um, I've never had anything sent back. So yeah, I'm running five ounces on this. Some things like five ounces and six ounces, uh, there are certain, certain things with USPS that if you just to play it safe, it actually won't increase the cost if you just go one ounce, one ounce up. So sometimes if I'm a little on edge, like I kind of want to go up one ounce, I'll plug it in and see if there's a price difference and sometimes there isn't, so. All right, this is a cloth and stone gingham blouse, short sleeve blouse. This was from a swap box and this took about, uh, that was at the early part of December, so January, February, March, like three and a half months. And this sold for $19 and shipping. So this weight is 5.4 ounces. So I'm gonna round up. I just got a payment for something. Um, so I'm gonna round up. So it's gonna be six ounces that I'm gonna write on here. I'm gonna see my terrible handwriting. I can read it. So that's really all that matters when I'm working for myself. This is a uh, Anthropology, the brand is 11Zs. Um, and this is a chair, a storybook chair print. I can't remember the, the, the name of the skirt, but it's adorable. Again, photos are in my listings or my solds. Uh, this sold, I sent out an offer. So I, I think I sent out an offer on all these. The cloth and stone, I sent out an offer. Um, this skirt, I sent out an offer and it sold for $17.40. And shipping, so this is 6.7 ounces. So I'm gonna write seven ounces on here. Oops. And then these are also a, a swap box item. These are a pair of Nike shorts. Uh, so it took about three and a half months to sell. They sold for $11.40. I sent out an offer. And let's see what the weight is here. Five ounces exactly. So, okay, 4.9 when I got it off the table. Sometimes it's so finicky. Yeah, so it's 4.9, I'm gonna just say five. If you want to play it safe, you can go up one more ounce. I think five and six ounces are the same. I'll double check on a couple of these. But. And then this last item is a pair. I've had these for almost a year and a half. I've had these for so long. Um, maybe not, maybe a year. Blank NYC yellow pastel jeans. These also were sold because of an, um, an offer and I sent out a low offer, 10.35, but I've had them for a long time. So let's get them out. And I'm glad actually they're going on at this time because it was spring, it was right before spring last year and I thought they were perfect for spring and they didn't, they didn't sell last spring. So, so jeans are one of those things that are kind of iffy for me. So the shipping that they paid was only, um, looks like $5. Fortunately, this is under the 16 ounce mark, but a lot of jeans actually go, um, are more than a pound. And so I actually usually ship them out padded flat rate, but this is kind of a tinier size. So this is coming in at 13.8 ounces. So I'm gonna write 14 ounces on here. And now I am going to take my shipping supplies back to the closet. This is, oh, my finished bin of items. So everything's just in order. And 
I'm gonna put this back in the, the room as well, but at least everything's weighed out and done. And I have my box down here. I forgot about that one. So anyways, let's let's get these labels done, which I won't show you labels. So really this is it. This is, I put the label on, I seal it up, and then I've gotta run to the post office. So that's it for this video. Um, if I have more shipping where there's more unusual things, maybe I'll do this video again to kind of show you how I do kind of non-clothing shoes or not non-clothing shoes, non-clothing items, like maybe some hard goods or stuff like that. But since I primarily do clothing, this is typically what it's like. I try and keep things organized and flowing and all that jazz. So anyways, hit the thumbs up if you like these videos. Uh, thank you so much for watching all of them or, or even just one. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.